It's an earthquake! Okay, so earthquakes. Unlike volcanoes, earthquakes are not randomly distributed over the globe. Earthquakes are located at the boundaries between plates. Friction causes them to stick together, which then builds up energy and causes them to break, causing earthquakes. So earthquakes can actually form when any of the plates have any reaction to each other. So when they diverge, creates energy. When they converge, creates energy. When they transform, create, create energy. Just if they create energy, be prepared because there's gonna be some action. So this is actually why most of earthquakes occur where there's a fault line because you know, that's where action will occur, such as in California, where this San, San Andreas Fault is. Because there's so much activity that the earth just, it creaks. So with earthquakes, there are different focuses. The focus is where the main source of energy comes from, which is within the mantle. So there is deep focus earthquakes and then shallow focus earthquakes. With deep focus, it starts off in the mantle, more like down below. And all that energy has to travel up to where it reaches the, the crust. And so this will create less of a reaction. However, with the shallow earthquake, it is relatively close to the crust and it puts a lot of the energy into the crust, creating a lot of action, which is what, which is what gives us our bigger earthquakes. So like most things, earthquakes are on a scale too. They range from a magnitude of one and a magnitude of 10. So one from four are considered small and they occur daily. They can, their movement can range from a small to moderate sudden. And then there's five to six, which is moderate and they occur monthly and they are the their movement is strong sudden so and then there's seven which is major they also occur monthly and they're severe sudden so and then there's nine to eight to nine which is great and they're yearly they are very severe. And then there's 10. They are super. And their occurrence is rare. But, oh my gosh. Their movement is extreme. You never want to experience this because they are the biggest you can get on a, with an earthquake. And if you think about it, each level is 10 times stronger than the previous level. Which is pretty extreme. That is why it's important to know where you're located and if an earthquake is able to happen where you live. Luckily for us, they don't ha happen often, ever. <laughs> so that's the bright side.